Hi, I'm Star Session and welcome to Blacktree.tv. We're here at Edge Performing Arts Center in Hollywood and we've got one of the dancers from LXD. Um, I love having exclusives because I get to hear a little bit about characters. Tell me a little bit about your character on the show. Um, my character's name is Copeland. Um, he's kind of the uh, outcast of the LXD. Um, in season one, he's the last to kind of accept joining the LXD as a new recruit. Um, he kind of battles a lot of demons uh, right. kind of from his past. Um, it's going to take him a while, I think, to get comfortable with the idea that he's a, uh, uh, you know, fighting the good fight and um, has kind of a responsibility to kind of take care of humanity. Um, but he's working on it and he's uh, developing some friendships as season two goes by. Um, the fanboys have really taken to him and, and he's starting to really care, I think, and, and understand that he has a, a place now. Tell us a little bit about working on set. Uh, working on set is a dream come true. Like it's honestly one of those projects where, as soon as you heard about it, you had to be a part of it. Right. Kind of started as like a passion project. We all kind of say like there wasn't a big budget at first, but you realize before long like oh he got called onto the project, and before you know you have like world renowned b boys, guys that competed at the Red Bull VC1s. We have trickers that have Guinness World Records, and uh, it was just a project I had to throw myself into. And uh, eventually you find out that you know you're just part of this big family. Everyone on set knows each other by first name, including the crew in all departments, and uh, it's an amazing experience you know we get to do what we love and with the people that we we love and train with now tell us a little bit about your character for the show I play the character Jimmy Angel who also becomes later known as Shadow so my character actually has like a really great level of development I started in season one as the best friend of Justin Starr and uh, at the end of my first episode my LXD invitation is ripped up so I'm left with this dilemma of like you know what happens your best friend abandoned you We've got Galen. She's one of the um, cast members. She had a few episodes on the show. Tell me a little bit about your character. My character's name is Ninjato, which is a type of Japanese sword. And I'm half Japanese, so it's kind of uh, fitting that that's my name. Um, and it's really like, she's, a, she's all about love, and she's caught in a really bad love triangle that you don't realize until the second season that that's what's going on. My first episode was a duet, so you think that that's my, uh, my love interest is the guy that I was dancing with, William Wingfield. Um, and then you realize in the second season that I'm actually married to Spex, who's one of the main guys. So, um, but you know, uh, she's, she's trying to figure out the situation and you know, using, um, I think like her power in dance is, is love, as opposed to the guys who are like, you know, they're fighting, break dance fighting and stuff, and, you know, she kind of fights with love. So she's a very strong woman, and um, I like what she brings to the table. It's like a nice softness to counteract what's going on with the craziness around it all. So how are you challenging yourself on the set of the show? When you've worked hard, and you're still working hard because you know you give yourself your your you know you don't give yourself a ceiling because you want to keep going. Right. So there's always you always need things to motivate you. So when you are considered an elite dancer, you're most most of the time you're in company of people who look up to you. So you don't really unless you know how to um, pull things from everybody and learn from everybody. Like even the master should learn from his students. Right. I'm surrounded by so many extraordinary talents like from trickers to poppers to wavers to other crumpers to flexors mm -hmm. to just people just have the, um, this amazing body control and the things that they can do with their body and it's a mutual respect within the camaraderie because everyone thinks that everyone is extraordinary you have to tell the viewers for blacktree.tv okay. right. about buck um, i'll let them know okay it's not b-u-c-k you know that already has a definition oh, okay this is b-u-c-c Buck. Let me explain it to you, all right? Pay close attention. The definition of buck is when internal artistry meets physical expression, smashed together, all right? Some people have internal expression, but they have no physical artistry to go with it. Some people have the physical artistry, but they don't have that internal expression, so therefore you can't really feel it. It's not coming from anywhere. It's all physical, you know what I'm saying? Some people have both. They're a hybrid of the two. Example, you have basketball players but then you have LeBron James. You have Kobe Bryant. You know, Kobe and LeBron, they're what? They're Buck. They're Buck. They are Buck. You know, that's just how it is. 